Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm so excited to do. It is going to be a current favorites video. I'm gonna be running through all of my favorite products right now. I have a variety to talk about in today's video from a lot of different lip products to some items from around the home. And of course, my dog Aries is gonna be here with me to let you know some of our favorite products. And before we jump into it, I do wanna say there is a sponsor on today's video, and this video is sponsored by Ritual. So I'm gonna hop into one of my favorites first from them, but let's go ahead and get started. All right, welcome. So I do like to start with an outfit of the day. So I'm gonna come back here by Aries. She's been reading all the comments. She loves how much everyone loves her sitting in the back of all of these videos. But today I just have on uh, these brown pants. I just got these from Amazon and honestly, I am loving them so much. I have a little tank top on from Express and I am a little bit chilly, <laughs> a little bit chilly. So I just threw on my jacket from Amazon so you couldn't see my goosebumps the entire time. But I always link everything down below, including all of the makeup that I'm wearing. I have a few things on my face that I will be talking about in my favorites video today. But like I said, there is a sponsor on today's video and this video is sponsored by Ritual. I am really excited to work with them because I've been actually using the product that I'm gonna be speaking about here. This is their Symbiotic Plus Daily Supplement. So this one here, I believe this one is my third bottle. I purchased them because some people that I have seen that I follow along um, for gut health information and just like a healthier lifestyle, I've seen them talk about and recommend this supplement. And there have been a few other daily supplements that I've been trying and just nothing that I felt like was really a sticking for me. And this is the one that I really enjoy. So I got really excited when Ritual said that they wanted to work together. So again, this one is their Symbiotic Plus. It's a prebiotic, a probiotic, and also a postbiotic. There's a lot of supplements that contain the pre and the probiotic, but not so much the postbiotic. Just to break those down for you in case you aren't super familiar with those terms, because I definitely wasn't until the last you know year here. So a prebiotic supports the growth and activity of beneficial bacteria that live in the gut. Probiotics are live microorganisms. They're included to relieve things like bloating, gas, and mild and occasional diarrhea. Then we have the postbiotic. This provides fuel to the cells that make up the gut lining and support gut barrier function. So that is a little bit of the terminology with these. And with these capsules, you take one every day. So I just take one every single morning and this is what it looks like. These have a delayed release of function. So it actually goes to your colon, not the stomach. And the colon is the ideal place for the probiotics to survive and grow. One thing when I was looking into a variety of products because Ritual does offer more than just the Symbiotic Plus is I was very impressed at how everything is made traceable. They are very big on transparency and being able to show and share with you exactly where everything is coming from. So we're talking about like ingredients, suppliers, all of the different studies that are done with their products. That is made available on the website. Um, even when you get in your package, it, it has all of the information right there as well. And that was really beneficial to me. So I started kind of a health journey um, well over a year ago when I started to not feel so well. And one thing, um, in addition to you know other changes that I've made in my life when it comes to my diet, when it comes to stress management, sleep, exercise, another piece of that was adding supplements that work for me into my routine. And there's a lot out there that you can be kind of unsure of, which is a little bit of a scary thought of, you know, putting something into your body and you're not exactly sure where the ingredients are coming from and you're not exactly sure even like the brand that you are using. That is something that really drew me to Ritual because I feel confident in what I am putting into my body. And again, this is my third bottle now and this is one that I will still continue to be repurchasing for myself. These do have a little bit of a minty taste to them as well, but they are super easy to swallow. I was someone who never been like the best at swallowing pills um, but these are super easy to swallow you don't have to refrigerate these I just have them on my counter and again I just take them in the morning when I am drinking a bunch of my water um, I add in my symbiotic plus again ritual does offer more on their website as well from multivitamins they have proteins as well 
um, but you will be able to see I think even just going to the website that you'll be able to see a reason why I was drawn to them because it's just very easy to understand their website it's very easy to understand what you're putting into your body it's very easy to understand even like the language that they use it's not overwhelming because one thing that I can say when it comes to being on a health journey is how easily overwhelmed you can get by you know the the medical jargon that gets thrown at you that sometimes you're like are you doing this just to confuse me even more <laughs> and i really appreciate the first time that i went to their website i really appreciate it that i was able to understand exactly what i was looking at exactly what i was ordering exactly what i was getting and that's just something that i find really beneficial so again like i always suggest when it comes to this sort of thing is doing your own research and seeing what it is that you need and what works the best for you luckily this is a product that has worked really well for me and incorporating it really regularly into my routine for almost the three month mark now I'm just glad that this is something that is a part of my routine and it's something that I believe in and that I have seen work personally for myself so of course I will have the website down below ritual did also give me a 20% off code so you can get 20% off your first month with them. that code is s March 20 again I'll have it in the description box I will have a link down there that code um, and the link is not affiliated but like I said this portion is being sponsored by ritual and I'm just grateful to be able to work with them and thank you all so much for your continued support too especially as I do chat about health more in my videos because it's something that I'm very passionate about and something that I took very seriously when I started to not feel well I gave myself like a couple of months there to be like oh you know maybe it's just like something weird and then I went full steam ahead of trying to make different changes in my life so I can be my healthiest self for me and my dog of course who is also on her own supplements as well but that could be a whole other video uh, but Aries and I are definitely in our healthy girl era right now and just doing the best that we can but again thank you so much for your support when it comes to obviously any of my sponsored videos this was one that was really special to me so I'm really grateful that I was able to team up with ritual for this part so I hope that you found this helpful again if you want to check out the website and do your own research and see what it is that they have to offer the link is in the description box. There's that 20% off if you want to give them a try and see if they work out for you. But luckily for me, the Symbiotic Plus has been a great addition to my daily routine. So this next one is, is, is quite random. And for those of you who know me and have heard me describe myself as an undomestic goddess for many years, you're going to be like, she's including a pan in her favorites videos, but I really do want to give this pan a shout out and I've actually been meaning to mention it for like probably my last two favorites videos and I'm finally remembering to include it. So this was several months ago. I ended up getting this pan in PR. I think it came in like a, I want to say it was like a rare beauty PR package and I was like a pan and I remember my mom was here and I was like, mom, I got a pan. Like look at this pan. So this is from our place and I have heard a lot of people talk about this brand I talked about this pan and I finally started using it and I was like, okay, I think I see what's going on here. So this is their like non-stick ceramic pan. But what really intrigued me was inside it came with this little insert and me being me was like, what am I supposed to do with this? And then I realized that this is kind of like a several things you can do in one type of pan. Now I actually just finished eating lunch and I did use this pan to make lunch, so it's still a little bit dirty, so please don't judge me. But I really enjoy the non-stick service because I feel like I can make anything in here and it is so easy to clean and I appreciate that because now that I am making 98% of my meals at home, I feel like all I'm doing is the dishes and all I'm doing is running my dishwasher and I am constantly cleaning pans, but this is so easy to be able to make anything in from like my rice bowls I can make in here. Eggs are super easy to make in this pan, and I just very much appreciate that the cleanup is so easy, but also I have incorporated vegetables very heavily into my diet, and what I like to do now is steam my vegetables. I put a little bit of water at the bottom of the pan, and then I put the insert in, and then I add my vegetables on top and put the lid on, and then Boom. I feel like for me, because even when I started to incorporate a lot of vegetables, a lot of greens, a lot of like my main things that I eat are like broccoli, Brussels sprouts, mushrooms, spinach, asparagus. I would find myself still not always feeling the best after eating even just like salmon and vegetables, chicken and vegetables. And I'm like, 
Okay, and so I was doing a little bit more research um, to see like what it could be and there's different ways that you can make your vegetables. I didn't know that was a thing. And again, do your own research and see what works the best for you. But I was like, I'm just gonna try making my vegetables this way instead of like, I think it's called like sauteing them on a pan and in like a bunch of oil and all of that. I was like, I'm just gonna try it this way and see what I think. And I feel like this way is a lot easier on my stomach. Like it's easier for me to be able to digest the vegetables, to digest more fiber. Um, and so this is just the way now that I make all of my vegetables. I just pop them in here. And it's super easy to do. And then sometimes I'll just make my vegetables on top. If I'm doing something like if I'm mixing like a lot of rice and chicken and that sort of thing, I'll just pop this off and put the vegetables on my plate. And then the pan is already warm. Like I dump the water out pan's already warm I'll throw in like chicken rice whatever I need to heat up in the pan and then I combine everything that way and I really like this pan I mean if you want to check out our place again I can link their their website down below um, or just if you want to try a different way to like make vegetables or just another way to like look into your diet and that sort of thing I don't know, I feel like that has been helping me so I appreciate it and it just I feel a little bit more like I know what I'm doing when I cook, when I do something fancy like use this pan and its own little like veggie insert. I just, just makes me feel some type of way, okay? Okay, I have one more lifestyle thing to talk about and this is a little bit more in the Healthy Girl era. I did also wanna say on my second YouTube channel, which is just called By Samantha March, I post more about like healthy habits um, over there and I do a lot of recipes over there too. I've been especially focusing on breakfast because that's been something I've been trying to incorporate since getting my PCOS diagnosis um, is breakfast to help balance my blood sugar levels throughout the day. So I have different recipes over there. So if you ever want some, you can check those out. I know, crazy to say. But the last thing I want to mention is a deodorant, and this is from Native. So my friend Ashley, some of you may know from a few of my videos, I was talking to her several months ago about deodorant and just how I wanted to switch, but I had felt like it was maybe, I don't know, three years ago or something. I was still in Iowa and I was trying a bunch of different uh, natural deodorants and I just didn't feel like I found one that really stuck with me. You know, sometimes with natural deodorants, I still feel like I would kind of smell or I would sweat quite a bit and I was like, uh, I don't know. And I was talking to Ashley about it and I was like, I just really wish I could find a deodorant to switch to because I've been trying to, to swap out more toxic ingredients around my home and toxic products around my home. And it's something that I've just been trying to do gradually um, because otherwise it's very overwhelming to like try to do everything at once. And so I had mentioned deodorant. I was like, I just can't find um, a natural one that works out best for me. And she said that she uses Native and she loves it. I was like, I swear Native might have been one of the only ones that I didn't try when I was trying all of these other ones. And I was at Target and I saw it and I was like, I'll just buy it and give it a shot. So I bought it, took a picture of it, sent it to her, let her know she's the main influencer in my life. Uh, but this is aluminum free, baking soda free. I got the coconut and vanilla and it says it's good for like sensitive skin, which I do feel like I have on my underarms as well. And I love that it has the ingredients, again, Sometimes I look at sometimes I look at things around me and it's like the list of ingredients is so long and so confusing. I think especially like grocery shopping, I look at some of the ingredients, I'm like, what in the world? Um, but even when it comes to household products, like sometimes you're looking at the ingredients like I also have to say that I apply this in the morning and I feel like I am like pretty much good to go. I mean, I haven't gone through, and I will say, I have not gone through the very hot Las Vegas season yet. Like we are just getting into the warmer weather here. So I definitely wanna see how this holds up in the summer, but through the colder months, and even I'm someone who is physically active every single day, I love going to walk. <laughs> She's also physically active every single day, I swear. I love to go for walks, you know, I enjoy working out, but still, I will put this on in the morning and then sometimes it'll be the afternoon, I'm like, I don't know if I feel like I need to put it on. Like, I don't feel like I'm sweating, I don't feel like my underarms are super wet, and I also just don't feel like I have the body odor as much. I no, I'm actually very impressed with it. So I've let Ashley know that she gave me a good recommendation. So I really wanted to recommend it here. Again, this is another one that I've been meaning to mention, but I feel like we kind of started off in the um, healthy girl kind of ways. But this one from Native, again, I'm gonna put it to the test 
in the hot weather and see what I think of it. But so far, so good. I didn't have any sort of like reactions on my underarms. I've had that happen before too. And I've like, that's why I did the sensitive because I've broken out like in rashes on my underarms when I've changed to other deodorants. And I just kept going back to my secret and I just kept going back to my secret. And I was like, ah, but this one from Native, this has definitely become a bathroom staple. All right, before we jump into my plethora of lip products, I just wanted to share the eyeshadow palette that I have been loving and that I keep wearing. It is from Sigma Beauty, and this is the Ambiance palette. It is what is on my eyes today. I do have a short up of how I get this eyeshadow look with kind of the more like sharper winged liner. I just use a piece of paper and then blend the shadows together. But I had been going for the Sigma on Nook palette for the longest time. I think I mentioned that in my last favorites video. And then I decided I wanted to do something. So I was, I was doing like a little bit more of a deeper look or like doing, um, like a little bit more heavier brown on the outside and then doing the white. But then I reached for my Sigma Ambiance palette because I did my top seven palettes of first spring and I did mention this one. And now I love using a little bit more of the lighter browns, but also some of these golds are super beautiful to use. Um, today I used Luster on the inner part of my eye and I just think that it's beautiful. So this is the palette now that I keep reaching for. You might know I love the Sigma eyeshadow formula. It's just one of my favorites. I'm an affiliate with them. My code is Samantha if you want to check out any of their any of their products. They have a lot to choose from. But the Ambiance palette I just think is so beautiful. And like I said in my spring video, I think I'll be reaching for this all season long. But this is the palette that I used in today's look also. All right, I have four lip products to end this video off with. Four. Four lip products. One is older. The other three are new releases. So I'm going to jump into the older one first because it is also what I have on my lips today. This is actually one of my collaborations with Ofra Cosmetics, and this is the Queen Gloss. So when I came out with this collaboration, I actually named this gloss after my dog sitting behind me. Her name is Aries. She is a Vishla. I call her Queen V, or just the Queen. And she was a big part of my collaboration that I did with Ofra in 2021. She is my best friend. We've been together for nine years, and we've been through a lot, and I love her so much. So when I made this more kind of coppery gloss. It just like she was my inspiration to do this and like her beautiful coat that she always gets complimented on. It has some gorgeous a shimmer to it as well. So again, this is the gloss that I have on today. I think that it's so beautiful. I have definitely been going, I, I mean, I love brown eyeshadow. It's probably my most worn color. And I feel like I've been doing this exact look so much. Again, whether it be with the on nook, whether it be with the ambiance now, I feel like I've been wearing a lot more like brown also. And I just feel like this lip color is so flattering. I love the combo I have on the Dana lip liner from Natasha Denona. And I just love it. But obviously I love the glosses that I made with Ofra. I also have Millie and Peony. Millie is more of like a white, um, like a pearly white. And then Peony is more of a pink shimmer. And then we have Queen. You can purchase these separately or you can purchase the set uh, as well on the Ofra Cosmetics website. I do have my discount code with them, which is also just a Samantha. But had to shout out my Queen gloss because I've been wearing that one so much. But some other favorites, okay, you've probably heard me talk about the Lawless Lip Balms. These came out recently, and I have been loving these. The shade that I wear the most is Georgie, but I also really like Posy, and then has the word marshmallow in it, is another one that I love. So this one in Georgie, again, these are more of like your lip balms, but this one has a little bit of that like brown just like a nice brown nude tint to it. It is super comfortable, it's super easy to apply. They just look really flattering on the lips. I've heard so many good reviews on these Lawless Lip Balms and I just, I have to agree, I cannot stop wearing them. And then another one, this kind of surprised me a little bit and I was excited to try it, but I didn't necessarily think it would turn into a favorite. This is from LYS. This is their new Moisture Matte Lipstick. The shade that I keep wearing is in Sincere. I really like the packaging on these, like very sleek packaging. And then Sincere is just more of this really pretty, like rosy pink shade. I like this because it goes on very smooth. It's very creamy, it's very easy to apply, but then you get more of that matte lip. But I feel like the word moisture matte, like 
LYS just nailed it with the name because that's exactly what it is. It gives you that more matte look, but it's still comfortable. It still feels moisturizing on the lips. And this is just a lip product. Whenever I wear it, I get so many compliments on it. I know they have multiple different shades that are out, but I just keep reaching for Sincere. And I think that it is so beautiful. And then this last product I have to share about, it is out of stock right now, but I still wanted to mention that I love it because I think that it's so good. Um, this is from City Beauty, and this is their latest release. It is just their, um, their night oil, City Lips Night Oil. To be honest, I do use this every single night, but sometimes I use it in the morning too, and it's just kind of like a nice nourishing hydrating lip oil and i do love me some lip oils this has ingredients in here that are also going to help exfoliate the lips over time what one thing that i really like about city beauty is all of their products are kind of geared towards that they're not just like a one and done like it's not just a lip oil that's going to be comfortable right now it's not just a mascara that's going to make your lashes look long right now all of them have ingredients in there to help improve whatever it is that you're trying to improve with that product over an extended period of time. So that's what I also really enjoy about using the lip oil. I just feel like my lips are getting smoother and more hydrated as more times as more time it goes on that I use it. I do also really like the applicator. It just kind of like I don't know how to describe it. It just kind of however I've heard people say like hug like it hugs the lips really nicely and I would absolutely agree with that so again this is what I've been using every night but I'll also use it in the day I just always leave it in my bathroom I did reach out to City Beauty to ask them when it would be back in stock and they said not until June and I was like no so I just wanted to mention it when it comes back in stock I will definitely talk about it again because I'm sure it'll be, you know, a lot more used up by that time. I do have a code with City Beauty, which is Samantha M, but they have a lot of really nice products, including skincare products. I really enjoy their Youth Rejuvenating Cleanser. Their Beyond Mascara, I talk about all of the time. A lot of people really also love their glosses. I know a lot of you have told me how much you love their glosses, but this lip oil, I was also very impressed with, so I definitely want it to touch on that. After that, that is everything for my current favorites, so I hope you enjoyed seeing all of these. Another big thank you to Ritual for working with me on this video, and thank you all so much for giving me these opportunities. I hope that you found this video helpful. Again, I will have that Ritual link and my code as March 20 in the description box if there's anything that you are interested in checking out. I, of course, would love to know what you thought of all of my favorites. And as always, if you enjoyed this one, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go, and I'll see you in my next one.